Let me ask you, Renato, about this um, conspiracy theory. And we certainly know that uh, Trump and his acolytes love a conspiracy theory. Uh, on Judge Mershon on Friday, I believe, flagged this uh, to the prosecution defense about a uh, comment that was made on Facebook by someone who was claiming to be a cousin to one of the jurors, saying that Trump was going to be convicted ahead of the verdict. Of course, the claim has since been debunked. It came from a Facebook troll. But that's not going to stop Trump and, as I said, his acolytes from running with this to attack the judge in the process. Take a listen to this. Was the fix in from the beginning? Is this cause for a mistrial? Uh-oh. Cause for mistrial? If that's not cause for a mistrial, I don't know what is. <laughs> I don't know what it is either, but here we are. So what do you make of, uh, of how Sean Hannity is running with this? And, and just lay it down for us. Lay the law for us. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not serious, right? When you look at the Facebook account that made that post, in the bio for that account, it says it's a crap poster. Yeah. I don't know how to, how to, uh, a, a, a non offensive way to, to say that. Uh, but essentially, the person's had come, come forward and admitted that that yeah. was just, uh, you, you know, you call the trolling. Um, you know, real Realistically, is that something that the judge should have brought to the party's attention? Of course. Is it something that people should have taken a look at? Of course. But if, now that it's debunked, promoting that and trying to mislead people. Should the judge have waited a little bit? Should the judge have said, let's look at whether this is real before coming out publicly with it? I think what the judge is trying to do is get out ahead of things yeah. and basically show that he is not putting a thumb in the scale one way or the other. Um, Tara, I'm sure you're shocked that Trump and his flock are holding on to this debunked conspiracy theory because I'm sure it'll be featured very prominently in many of his campaign stops for the next several months. It doesn't matter that it's been debunked. It doesn't matter how many times we're going to play uh, any matter. clips that show that it's not true. It's true in their world now. Yeah, well, they live in an alternative universe. And so it's a universe that we all don't live in. And it's a truth free and fact free universe. It's the alternative facts universe right. <laughs> of MAGA world. So, you know, but they, it, he hasn't already started doing this at rallies, just doing that. It started on the Sunday shows today. Right. His, his surrogates were out there repeating this nonsense about how, oh, there's probably going to be a mistrial now because of misconduct by this judge and blah, 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 blah. They continue to repeat this over and over and over again. But the only people who buy this, are the 90% who already believe Donald Trump and think they're going to vote for him. It's the 10% of Republicans and those others being 10 to 15% that are they really looking at this case and saying, yeah, no, it's not a big deal. We're going to vote for the convicted felon. I don't think so. So Trump and his acolytes can continue to do this, but the average American independent moderate voters, they're sick of it and not comfortable with voting for a convicted felon, nor should they. Yeah, I was going to say for Judge Mershine, damned if you do, damned if you don't. If he doesn't say anything about it, they're going to point and say he tried to cover it up. If he comes out and says something about it, they use it and say, look, the judge is even saying now that there is something shady about here. Otherwise, the judge wouldn't have said it. So um, as I said, here we are.